Uh, we hope that uh, Beijing would simply have the confidence uh, to let one country, two systems work and to let Hong Kong uh, be Hong Kong. This is simply a, a question of honoring an agreement that was already made uh, and that worked uh, very well uh, for many years. Well, uh, as you've seen, uh, we've already taken uh, some concrete uh, steps. Uh, uh, we recently announced uh, visa measures uh, against uh, Chinese officials responsible for undermining Hong Kong's autonomy. Uh, we will also uh, be changing the way uh, we handle exports of defense material and uh, sensitive technology uh, to Hong Kong. Uh, other measures uh, are under review in a process uh, led by uh, the White House. Uh, it's very important for us uh, to highlight the fact that to the extent that uh, mainland China starts treating Hong Kong more like the mainland, uh, then the way we treat uh, Hong Kong has to reflect that uh, as well. So again, uh, our concern uh, is making certain that Beijing honors the commitments it made uh, to the Hong Kong people uh, in the joint declaration. Uh, it's, a, it's as simple as that. Uh, we've seen a steady erosion in Hong Kong's autonomy in recent years, culminating most recently, of course, in the imposition of the national security legislation. So the actions that we're taking are in response uh, to these very troubling uh, steps that we've seen taken by Beijing. Well, we reject uh, any accusation that we are somehow uh, meddling. Uh, the people uh, here in Hong Kong uh, are very capable of understanding uh, their own uh, interests. Uh, and uh, when you look at uh, uh, what uh, protesters have been concerned about, uh, in many cases, it's simply uh, the continued erosion uh, of Hong Kong's uh, autonomy. Uh, we support uh, the right of uh, peaceful protest. We oppose all forms uh, of violence. Uh, and Hong Kong has its own institutions and structures uh, for addressing these kinds of issues. They should be allowed to work. Uh, as I said before, simply let Hong Kong be Hong Kong. North and South America.